Gets header. Succeeds in picking out Fallon. Oh, and Mackey's getting ready to come on. Oh, and Naismith's gone down here. He went down immediately. Something has gone twang. Well, just seconds after that Naismith Milsom incident, Stephen Naismith collapses in a heap. Well, this one looks really serious. He's just collapsed. His knee's gone. I can only hope it's not as serious as it looks. Darren Mackey has come on for Aberdeen in place of Milsom. It's always really worrying, Derek, when you see a player go down like that. And you straight away waved his hand. Well, it doesn't matter who you support, you never want to see that sort of thing happen to a player. And Stephen Naismith has been highly influential for Ali McCoy in the early part of this campaign. Absolutely, he's been great this season. I've really enjoyed watching Stephen Naismith. I just hope he's not out for too long. And here's the original one. He passes it in with Milsom. And he does catch Milsom's ankle. I don't think it's intentional. And I think he twists his own knee just slightly by doing that. So that's obviously where it's come from. And then later on, it's been compounded as he's fallen down, as the ball's arrived at him. Not a challenge in sight. And as I say, it's just really worrying. Kyle Lafferty will be pressed into service, but it's a very sad sight. Stephen Naismith about to be stretched off. Well, of course, won't know the severity, the extent of the injury as we speak, but the rueful shake of the head from the Rangers manager. No, you don't want to see that. Not from any player. As a manager, and he's one of your key talents. And Durant to the background, it's actually his 45th birthday today, and it was here at Batodre he suffered that career-threatening injury back in 1988. supporters shouting out the name of Stephen Naismith. And you never know with an injury like that, Scott, just how long we could be talking about in terms of an absence. Well, I'm being honest, it doesn't look good. But I hate to say that. I wish him well. So Kyle Lafferty started last week against...